How's it going, YouTube? I'm just making this quick, quick video to basically show you guys how to customize um, the Arrow Dream Board theme that came out the other day. Um, as you can see, you know, I have the temperature of the city that I live in. I have a different background than the default, um, you know, the, the few backgrounds that came in the with the theme and of course I have my customized um, profile pic so and you can do a lot with this so anyway these are the things you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need a a photo something like um, I think like 97 by 97 a really small photo for the profile up there and you're gonna need a regular any um pick that you use for your iPhone for the background um, I think it's 640 by 960 um, try to get one with a high pixel density so when you do put it in here it actually looks good because some of them you know they don't look too great and um, as far as the images goes when you get the images you're gonna change the extension to PNG but you're gonna you're gonna rename the file to whatever the, the main name of the file is to at 2x Dot PNG, and you can do this for both the both the pics, the profile, a little pic you're gonna be using up there in here. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on a second. For this pic and the background, all right. That's the extension. And the last thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need to go to um, just go to weather weather.com. And when you get there, you know, don't put in your zip code in order to get the the, the proper code for your city just like for instance I live in New York so I went to weather.com and in a little box it says zip code city whatever put your city in okay so I put in New York when you put in the city and you get your temperature look in the um, in the address bar there's gonna be a code in all caps and a few numbers like mine says um, USNY0996 that's the code you're gonna need you know if you live in New York so anyway when you get that code just come back to um, your desktop and you know we're ready to rock um, now in order to do this you can do this two ways well first of all you need to find a way to put the picks the two picks you're gonna need or how much ever you're gonna substitute onto your phone into the arrow um, theme so I basically um, use the um you know SHSH whatever I I went into the phone that way using WinSCP you know, you know most people do it that way okay so here's what you're gonna do um, when you use WinSCP I'm gonna show you the you're gonna go into iFile now look at the um, the extension it's far mobile library dreamboard arrow and now you're in arrow now you're gonna go into images start menu profile and you see that there that's D and Uncle Doc that's um, the pic I have in my profile you're gonna copy the profile pic that you have the little one into this folder okay again look at the string at the top uh, after you do that you're gonna go here wallpaper and these are all the pics that I have in the wallpaper and you're gonna place the wallpaper that you created it's basically you took a like I said a 640 by 960 or whatever for you should use for iPhone in the background and you're gonna change the name you know at 2x.png same thing for the profile I hate to be redundant but you know that's how it is okay so now you put those two into the into the proper folders now you go out and you come back to the arrow folder and you're gonna go to current plist now I put it as text viewer you can do this all on um, when you're using WinSCP actually but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes alright in the current plist you're gonna look for start menu profile the pick in there is uh, 
default at 2x.png that's a pic you're going to replace you're going to scroll along and you're going to get to the part in this plist file that says dreamboard images start menu profile this is below the start menu profile default frame uh, and it's at the top there so now you scroll down into the second section here and you're looking for and if you see this file says D and Uncle Doc right there let me turn there you go in there you're gonna have a default at 2x dot PNG and all you have to do basically is you're gonna edit this you see the edit button click the edit button and just backspace I mean just erase the default and type in the name of the, the picture you know that you remember um, early in the video I said you know you get the picture on your desktop you save it with a name let's say I don't know Tim at 2x dot PNG now all you do is take out the default and write in Tim at Tim and just you know the, at 2x dot PNG obviously you leave that there now it's interesting about this make sure you put the first letter for every name of the file you're gonna make in capital all right let's just keep it consistent so anyway you put that in there after you press edit and you use an i file it'll probably when you edit it'll probably make you start not probably it'll make you start deleting from the end of this um line which is the string so just remember how how the code is is written it's pretty simple it's um png and what does it say after that it's an I guess the open slash string and then it, it closes so just remember that little line um, just put everything back the way it, it is not difficult just you know just write it down if you need to or memorize it anyway so you're not gonna really save this yet and now you're gonna go down into the bottom of this current P list once you get to the bottom um, this is pretty simple also because when you get those two customized pictures, you know, and you save them and you put them in the places I showed you to put them in the video, all you're doing is typing in the name of the picture that you saved. And the program does the rest for you. Okay, so we're at the bottom. The good thing is the wallpapers are at the bottom. So let's make sure we're at the absolute bottom. Hold on a second. Okay, this is it. Now, you see that? wallpaper I have white tiger the white tiger wasn't in there all you have to do is just again you're in edit mode just put try to well you might not get your cursor in front of the the at symbol because you're in this system but I usually go to the end here let's say um I took out the, the pick the background the wallpaper pick muggle or whatever so I went to where you see w h i t I went to the end of it um, of course, iPhone is nosy, so it's going to highlight the whole thing in pink. And I just hit backspace, and I typed in White Tiger. And that's it. In the place of that muggle. And I took out... Uh, I didn't take out the Bugatti. I took out the, the girl. You know, and I put in my Mustang. Yeah, check that out. Anyway, so when you do all this, all you have to do is save. And you, you click done, and then you get out of there. And now the last part, um, to change the weather to where you live, which is only fair, you go to widgets, you're going to go to weather, and you're going to go into the config and view it as a text viewer. Now, when you put in the city in your um, in the weather.com, I know you got this. I got USNY0996, so you're going to go into this file, and the great thing is everything is done at the top. And where it says um, far, see it says var locale, locale, L-O-C-L, locale. You're getting fancy with there. I'm gonna make sure you see it in the video. Okay, let's turn. Anyway, the video is not the best. The camera is not the best quality, but um, you're relying on the fact that you know how to read. So you'll see the instructions there. I mean, it'll say the location field 
should be a relatively machine legible string zip code work if using the default app, Apple AccuWeather blah 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 var local equals right there equals I have US and Y0996 that's how I, that's how you get your code so from the weather.com whatever you got just type it in there edit of course leave the parentheses the way it is it has to be in all caps next to the numbers and now if you want your weather in Fahrenheit as opposed to Celsius you see he says set the falls if you prefer Fahrenheit if you prefer Fahrenheit so var is Celsius equals it says true in the original file just backspace out of that and type in false in all lowercase and basically you're done um, when you're done with this what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of iFile okay you're gonna get out of iFile you're gonna log out of the theme you're gonna choose this apply go back to the original um, and you're basically going to just respring your device. Hold on a second. Now, after you respring your device and you go back in, you're going to select a theme and all your changes are going to show. Um, because I tried, you know, I just, I went out of there and I just chose the default. Then I went back into it and it didn't work. All right. So I know I knew I closed my Twitter. Okay. Let's open that. All right, so let's go to Dreamboard. I have it over there. And when you apply, it should all be in there. I mean, I'm going to try to, I hope this video wasn't too long and it wasn't complicated. I try to make it as simple as possible. Um, you know, this is just a little something for anybody who wants to get up on it because I know it's just totally ridiculous for me to make a video showing off how I made a few changes to my Aero Dreamboard app, and you know, I don't tell people how I did it. I mean, that's so ridiculous. What's the point, you know? Making a video just to show show off, y'all. Have a good day. Stay up, everybody. Peace.